cracking open the brand new Pokemon TCG Paldea Powers tin today. I'm excited to crack this one because this one's my favorite starter out of the three. And they have five blister packs of Silver Tempest as well to see if we can pull a third alternate art Lugia. Just a heads up, Pokemon has just released a brand new Deluxe League Battle Deck featuring Meowskarada EX. So if you guys want to see everything included in this starter deck and of course my upgraded Meowskarada deck, you guys are going to want to subscribe to the channel. But with that said, let's crack open some packs. It's been a while since we've opened up some packs on the channel so it feels good to be uh, doing this. We did a lot of Obsidian Flames openings and I know we have some Pokemon 151 on the way once I come back from Pittsburgh Regionals. But let's show you guys all the things included in these tins, starting off with the promo card of Meowskarada. One lucky person, go ahead and redeem that code and it's gonna give you this right here, the Meowskarada EX promo card from this tin. Now, one criticism that these tins are getting uh, which some people are saying is a problem, Ooh. is these artworks of Meowskarada, of Quaquavel, of uh, the last one, Skeledurge, they're all pretty much just the regular art for these cards, but flipped in like a mirror way. So it looks like Pokemon got really, really lazy with these tins, with these promos in particular. Some people are saying it's a problem. I honestly think it's a slight problem as well because when you're paying so much for these special tins, people want promo cards that are diverse, that are different from the typical artwork that you're used to getting from the uh, from the packs. For the Meowskarada EX Deluxe Battle Decks, they just reprinted the same one from the set and it's it's pretty sad. So here's a look at Meowskarada, here's a look at both of the Coquavels, and here's a look at the Skelly Dirge. Go ahead, sound off in the comment section down below. I'm curious what you guys think about these tins promos being so lackluster. Quick look at Meowskarada EX. If you wanted to play the competitive Pokemon card game or trading card game, I should say, uh, Meowskarada is the most competitive out of all three of them. And if you guys wanna see my own personal deck list, I did an anti-meta deck list uh, video of the top 10 decks right now. So feel free to check that one out after. So because it's a stage two Pokemon, stage two Pokemon are a bit more harder to set up and so therefore they're not as consistent and as good. Right now the best stage two Pokemon in the game you could say is Charizard EX and that's because with that Pokemon you get energy acceleration and a strong attacker in just one card. Meowskarada EX is pretty awesome as well. It has 310 HP and the thing that makes it really good is that it has an ability which says you can discard a basic grass energy from your hand and it does 30 damage on one of your opponent's Pokemon. Now on top of that it has the attack Scratching Nails. Now Scratching Nails only cost two colorless energies, but those attack requirements can be fulfilled by using one single uh, double turbo energy. So you can combine this card with the power of Arceus V-Star, because those decks have to use lots of double turbo energies, and then you have some really good synergy right there. And not to mention, it also hits your weakness on Charizard EX, which is weak to grass type Pokemon. Let's see what the five packs are for these tins. We have a Obsidian Flames, Obsidian Flames, Scarlet and Violet base set, Silver Tempest, and Astral Radiance. So we're still getting some Sword and Shield era packs in these tins. A little disappointing with that. Personally would have liked to seen some Paldea Evolve packs in these tins because that's the only way I believe you can pull uh, the alternate art Meowskarada, the full art Meowskarada, or just Meowskarada in general. So you can't even pull more Meowskarada cards from these, or at least Meowskarada EX, from the packs in this Meowskarada tin. That's also a small problem I would say, because if you're buying these tins, you're probably a big fan of Meowskarada. You want to have all the chances to pull Meowskarada. And I'm sorry if I sound really negative. I'm not usually very negative, but I'm just being a bit more critical of Pokemon this time around, because I'm trying to cut down my cost on spending. And so when you are buying Pokemon cards and you're not getting, you know, the, the most happy customer satisfaction experience, it's kind of like, meh, come on now. I know they can do better. You have the five packs of Silver Tempest, the five packs of the, uh, the tin. We'll do them about like one verse one kind of thing beside each other. So let's start off with Scarlet and Violet base set. We've already pulled a lot of the major cards I want from this set, but we haven't pulled the illustration rare or the special illustration rare of Maridon EX, which is my current deck at the moment. So if we can pull the gold uh, gold uh, Maridon or a gold, uh, gold Maridon or a special SAR Maridon EX, it's gonna go straight into my deck so I can play it at Pittsburgh Regionals which we're leaving for on Friday morning. All right, we got Florigato, not bad. Smoliv, okay. Oh, baby, very nice. Basic electric energy and a Palma. Yo, that's sick. 
All right, we got one nice shiny gold energy to start off today's video. Some first pack magic, you could say. This is going to be the one non-first edition energy card in my deck. All my all my uh, energies in my deck for uh, Maridon, our first edition base set. But we are now going to use that one golden energy. So that's a W for the first pack. Let's see if Silver Tempest can beat that for round number one right here. And uh, yeah, if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Consider perusing the channel around. I don't just do openings. I do lots of competitive style content and more. So uh, yeah, that's your kind of stuff. Look around, no need to subscribe though, but if you like these kind of videos, hit the like button to help me out in the algorithm. That's always nice. All right, here we go. Silver Tempest. Can we get something out of that white code card pack? We got Venonets, Fibas, and a Hisuian Briber. Yeah, so round one. Round one is going to go to Team Miascarada EX10. Next up, we have Obsidian Flames. Actually, let's not do, uh, let's do, let's do the Astral Radiance. Let's do the Astral Radiance that came with it. And then we'll get to the Obsidian Flames the last. So maybe do some, do some fun Charizard hunting, you feel me? We are missing one Charizard in total, um, but we've pulled all the other Zards. So we're currently on the hunt for the Gold Charizard. So if we can pull the Gold Charizard, that means we have all four. And you actually only just need three for the deck. All right, we got Togepi, Combi, Chatot, Regigigas, and a golden, not golden, a rainbow rare, hyper rare, Hasuian Lilligant V-Star. Yo, this tin, this tin is cracked. That is two very nice pulls back to back. You'll love to see it. All right, let's see if Silver Tempest, these blister packs, man, they're gonna feel, I feel like no matter what, because of the, how the Miascarada EX tin from Palladia Powers is uh, popping off, the Silver Tempest packs are just gonna feel bad no matter what. All right, here we go. Electric Energy, Meow Stick, not Miascarada, Meow Stick, Archin, Pikachu, Ponyta, Venonet, Jupiter, Spinda, okay, Noibat, and a Caldeo Non Hollow. All right, so the score is gonna be 2 0 for team at Meowskarada 10. Let's see if the Silver Tempest pack is also blessed with the luck. All right, one, two, three, four. Let's see if this one Silver Tempest pack is actually better than all five of the Blister packs. All right, we got Clang, Emergency Jelly. This card is gonna be insane come the Roaring Moon EX decks. I'm excited for, uh, for Paradox Rift. If you guys haven't heard about Paradox Rift, it's the set coming out for fall, the main set. I did a couple news videos for that set already. We got your cloak and a Dragonite Hollow Rare. Okay, not bad. I'll take that. I'll take that. So far, we're getting kind of like a hit or a mini hit out of each pack. All right, Silver Tempest round three. Will this beat the Dragonite Hollow Rare? One, two, three, four. And also, if you guys are planning to go to Pittsburgh Regionals, uh, try and find me. Say hi. I'll be there at Pittsburgh. So if you guys end up seeing me or bumping to me, say hi. I'm very friendly. I don't bite. Uh, if I'm vlogging, Feel free to interrupt me if you want to be in the vlog too. We got Solosis and an Incineroar. All right, looks like the uh, the tin is still popping off, but I want to do a thing for this Pittsburgh Regionals where every single time I bump into a subscriber, I don't want to I like I don't want to get people on camera if they're camera shy, but I like to get like a little video of their hand holding the deck that they're playing. Um, so yeah, if I see you and you want to make a cameo on my tournament vlogs, go for it. All right, here we go. Little pup, crab brawler. We are on to Obsidian Flames. One of the two packs of Obsidian Flames. We got Fungus. We got Oddish, everyone's favorite weed Pokemon. And another Hit Victini EX, very nice. Wow, these tins are crazy. So that is now a hit out of every pack so far, if you count the Hollow Rare as a hit. And Victini EX is actually, and a Fire Energy, Victini EX is actually pretty decent. Some Charizard EX Dexes are playing Victini EX. And that's because it has a one retreat cost, which isn't that bad, but you have the attack Victory Flame, which is enough to one shot those pesky Shen Pal decks that are running around for 220 and just pretty much any V Pokemon out there. Victini V, an unlikely hero for the Charizard decks, but most aren't playing it. But you know, just in case, if you if you wanted to get some ideas, I gotcha. Always like crafting some fun decks. I'm excited to start streaming again, again soon too. We'll be streaming on this YouTube channel, but we're also gonna be streaming on Twitch. All right, one, two, three, four, to the front. Silver Tempest, will it beat the Victini EX? It's not looking good though. We're, we've been having some rough packs. Sandy Ghast, Relicanth, Toxicroak, 
and an Incineroar once again. Oh, this is this has been painful, man. So the current score is four to zero with Team Miascaratitan in the lead. Let's save the Obsidian Flames pack for last. Maybe we can get some heat with the Charizard. But let's see if Silver Tempest can redeem itself with one pack. Because, you know, all it takes is that one insanely good pack to kind of make up for all the, the misses. You know, the, the packs that just didn't hit the way you wanted them to. All right, here we go. Four to the front. Silver Tempest, last round for this for this team. We got Matang, Ferroseed Girl, La Punny, Dratini, a little clink action, Stunfisk, Togenamaru, Esper, or Pekko. Please, please. Oh, okay. A Maw Wild V. <laughs> One last pack now of Obsidian Flames. I don't know if all the packs are the same for the Paldea Partner Tins, so I'll have a pop-up text on screen right now. I'll do some research and figure it out for you guys so you guys don't have to keep looking for more videos. But if you guys do end up buying these tins, let me know what packs you get if they were different or if you got uh, some really good cards like I did today. Because this tin has been insane. Let's see if we can get a Charizard, man. With the luck, the luck streak we have, I would not be surprised if we get a Charizard. All right, we got Poppy, Lunatone, Lechonk, fantastic artwork, Toad Scroll and a Togekiss Hollow Rare. If you guys want to see some of the funnest decks to play in the Pokemon TCG, click on screen to watch that video right here, the top 10 anti-meta decks. And I'm going to go ahead and chug this iced coffee and list a bunch of cards on eBay tonight.